The House of Representatives on the 15th of March 2018 resolved to amend the National Council on Privatization, NCP Act, to remove the Ajaukuta Steel Company from the list of public companies listed in the schedule and investigate the reason for the failure of the company to commence full operation since its inception. A public hearing. The complex is 98% completed, and the Minister of State, Mines and Steel Development explains the components which make up the remaining 2%. The 2% you hear, these are the most important parts of what will now produce the intended liquid steel. With the huge annual importation of steel and the huge employment opportunities which the Ajaukuta Steel Company will offer if it is completed, the question of why there was no allocation for it in the 2018 budget comes to bear. It was advised that after $8 billion that has been sunk into Ajaukuta, the advice by that advisory uh, committee was no money should be put into Ajaukuta again. During your presentation, you said it's practically completed. So what is required? How much? Based on the auditing that you've done. It has not been submitted to us yet, but we hear figures of 500 million, 1 billion. Um, we, will, we will have to let the cat out of the bag. From our technical audit, an estimated value of $625 million is an estimated value will be required to complete the plant and machineries. The lawmaker from that constituency speaks on the concessioning of the company. This complex is 98% completed. We just have 2%. And there's no good government in the world that will leave its steel sector in the hands of the private. The most important conversation surrounding the Ajaukuta steel complex now is whether or not to privatize such a national asset with so much potential. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.